Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a sound card in Tractor on a Mac. Now, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a sound card, um, especially if you're just DJing at home. The best way is to buy one of the cheapy ones, uh, just like that Behringer that I've just showed you. Uh, you can get it for around 15 quid now. Um, and what you do is you set your main output, so the, where the music will be coming from, as the Behringer sound card and that's got a phono wire so it can just plug in any sound system any cheap little hi-fi system that you've got um, and you'll use your headphone output on your MacBook or your computer to be able to cue and listen to the the opposite deck that you're going to be mixing into now obviously as you progress you'll want to spend a more money on a decent sound card but if you're just in the bedroom um, you know, you can't go wrong really, it'll get you into Tractor and it's great for that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do then, is we need to set up an aggregate device. So to do that, all we have to do is go to our search, and we search, just type in audio or MIDI, and you'll get the audio MIDI set up. Now the aggregate device, what that basically does, is it allows you to set two different sound cards and kind of make software think that there's just one sound card in DJ software you'll find that you're only allowed to select one sound card um, and basically you, you route the audio by selecting the different outputs on that sound card so this is kind of a way of getting around the fact that most sound cards or cheap sound cards only have a single output so what we do is we create a new aggregate device and we simply click on the sound cards that we want to use so I've clicked on built-in output and the USB uh, the little Behringer one I'm gonna rename the aggregate device tractor device just so I can see it and then I'm going to ensure that the sample rate is the same on both the sound cards and it's a case of switching over to tractor Go into preferences um, we go to the audio setup and select our tractor device that we've just made we then go over to the output and we simply select which device we want to be for the monitor and which device we want for the the master output and that's that now a quick way of testing is if you load up a track um, hit play you should hear it come out of the right so if it, if your sound card's plugged in it should be coming out of your sound card um, if you click the little headphone port um, you should be able it should cue in the right place as well so it should be coming out of your headphone socket on your MacBook now if it's not all we need to do is go into the preferences and switch them around and that's pretty much it that's how you set it up in Tractor